Friday night in summer and uh, we're on a Bushwick tonight and we're gonna run in and see an exhibition here at Signal on Johnson Avenue. Signal is one of my favorite uh, kind of advanced formalist galleries and uh, I enjoy what they're doing here. They're taking a, a lot of uh, risks and showing some interesting work. Anyway, the reason I like tonight's show is that uh, most of this is based on video sculpture and the title of the show is Surface Support, curated by Amanda Schmidt. Now, one of the problems that I had with this is that none of the pieces are labeled. So we're just gonna kind of wander through here this is great. It's like I spent years training that cat. I've got kind of a little uh, still life, a little interior thing they've built here. And uh, well, the kitty's very popular. We've got kind of a pale video screen going on over there. In the press release, they say that the title of this exhibition, Support Surface, alludes to the French artistic movement in the 1960s, Support Surface. A group of artists that formed around the shared interest in the materiality of painting. These artists subverted the contemporary emphasis on the image in painting and focused on the physicality of the material, bringing into consideration the apparatus which could hold an image. And uh, like I said, none of this work is labeled, but here is a little rundown of the names of the artists that are in the show. Miriam Bernani, Antoni Catala, Leah Cetera, Luca Delenverson, Dan Hirschlin, Jesse Stead, Will Stewart, Philip Vanderheiden, and Kyle Williams. This is a fun piece. Yeah. Got a little animated Apple logo there. Very topical. Uh, multi-screen video piece. I don't know how long the loop is, but I came in and watched it for a couple of minutes before. And it's nice. So this is probably about uh, you know, 15 feet long. Six or seven different panels. This might be the most uh, visually pleasing piece in the show. Like a little animated chessboard. Well, uh, unfortunately, because they don't have any labels on any of this work, I can't really tell you exactly what the uh, the medium or the process or the uh, 
mechanics of this piece are. Maybe that's just video playing on a flat screen turned horizontal. We got a couple of chairs you can sit down on. Well, Bushwick seems to be going through a lot of changes these days, and uh, one of the things that's happening is that uh, there are more of the uh, large, serious spaces opening up. Here we've got, it looks like, a stack of flat screen TVs. They've got some kind of um, a plastic or resin case on them. They've got them stacked up against the wall. That's kind of a nice uh, color thing going on. It's kind of uh, makes me think a little bit of Dan Flavin, maybe. And uh, if everybody wasn't screaming so loud, you'd get a, get a chance to hear the soundtracks. I was talking to uh, a person outside. They said they liked this piece. It looked like... Uh, the remains of a bar fight. So you've got the wooden table and these old dungarees. And then right here in the middle you've got this glass. Now watch this. We've got the video projector and the uh, ever-present hand trying to push the button. Oh, I wonder if something happens if I push the red button here. Fun little piece. So we've got a uh, video projector there, and it's projecting images of it looks like two flashlights. And then if you come around to the front side, you get a chance to see it through a, a postcard of a uh, kind of desert landscape maybe. Okay, I'm going to claim a uh collaborative intervention here. I brought in this firefly and uh, so that's my uh, contribution to the exhibition and of course uh, none of the hipsters noticed this. They were too busy looking at their cell phones. Well, we'll wrap up looking at this hologram. Signal reporting on surface support curated by Amanda Schmidt.